Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. We are making fig jam. I began picking up the figs from Trabzon city and traveling 1000 kilometers back home to Istanbul with the traditional recipe I got from my relatives. I will show you how to cook fig jam in two ways, as a whole and as a marmalade. You will also learn the trick to pick up figs and how different it can taste depending on where it grows. So let's begin. We are in Akçaba, Trabzon, my husband's hometown. It's the last day in Akçaba. We have 1000 km ahead of us. We have last couple of things to do. We're gonna now pick up some figs. <laughs> my husband's relatives will give us figs on the way back home to make fig jam. This still has a couple of days until it is done and this is done. Çevirip değil mi? Ha. Gördün? Oh, o geldi zaten. <gülüyor> This is Aronia. They say it's good for health. So they are trying to grow it here. local cucumbers it's special in this region Uh, so this is the one uh, we picked up uh, from this tree and these are different these are perfect for making a uh, fig jam so we'll see <laughs> now dear Jelen abi continues to pick up figs from the same tree we filmed he was very comfortable and fast while doing it Torbayı koymayacağım. Bunu sen yap. Tamam. <gülüyor> Teşekkürler. Güle güle. Evet çok güzel. Tamam. Ağırlık vermedi. Şimdi şunları birer tane yiyin ama kabuğunu yemeyin. Ezilecek. Oh, tamam. Dedim. <gülüyor> so Celal abi Ödemin says kaydı. this one is specially <gülüyor> different. Ha bu sen bak. So especially the Jelal Abi wanted me to eat this one. It is uh, different than this, he says. It looks same to me. <laughs> But let me try. Mm. It's really different. <laughs> Piece of heaven. <laughs> Yani ben bunu şeye atmıyorum, yemeği. Bunlar yemek mi? Hmm. Toprağı, şu kadar azıcık toprağı var. Kayanın üzerinde hmm. o evet, bulaşı. Evet, tamam, o tepede. E, lezzeti bir numara olur ona. Şimdi buradaki de toprağın ve sulu yerde olduğu için inciri iri olur ama lezzeti bir numara olur. Tamam, Yetiştiği yerden dolayı sadece yoksa aslında aynı yani. Ha. Yetiştiği tabii, tabii, ağacın tabii. yerinden. Ama bu da yukarıdakini zaten yarı olmuş topladık reçel yapacağız. Evet. Şey. Bu da yemek. Hı. Hmm. Yani. So I got my fix. I got the recipe and when we return back home uh, hopefully we gonna make it. We traveled 1000 kilometers way back home and for about 18 hours 
including the traffic in Istanbul. Even though we transferred the fix into a big bucket, this was how they looked after the trip. It was very hot, with thousand kilometer shaking on the road on top of each other. First I thought most of them were bad, but the inside was still very good since they are not uh, ripened all the way. But I didn't have much time left so I had to begin quickly to make the jam. First I washed them truly in the water. I want to make a note that I was very tired because of the trip but still wanted to make it in the sake of fix picking up all the way from the trap zone and it, it's a blessing too as a second step I begin to peel the fix you can keep it like this but uh, originally it is uh, better to uh, peel them it gives a more lighter a color in the final look of the jam. If the figs are already ripened, you can gently uh, scrape down, as you can see. And I continue to uh, peel them like this. Okay, next the sugar. For one kilogram of figs, Add 1 kg of granulated sugar. In this case it was about 3.5 kg. And to that I added about 800 ml of water. For 1 kg you can think of 2 ml of water. Since they ripened a bit more on the road, I didn't let them sit in the sugar. But uh, if yours are more firm, you can wait for about 3-4 uh, hours to let them release the juice a bit. And I begin to cook on a medium-low heat. Make sure you use a biggest pan available because it can easily boil over. And after a time I collected the foam parts on top and I didn't use it. As you can see over a time it begin to darken a nice caramel, a brown color. And to flavor the jam a bit more I added some rose geranium leaves. It is optional but uh, traditionally we do use it and it really goes well and makes it to another level. So I cooked my fig jam for about uh, more than an hour and make sure to check inside if it's fully cooked uh, with the syrup together. After this stage I uh, cooked for 10 more minutes and then add the lemon juice. I added about one big size lemon, juice of a lemon, and about two to three pieces of citric acid. It is optional, but sometimes the lemons we use here are not that powerful, so I prefer to add it so it doesn't crystallize cooked for five more minutes and it is done you can check the consistency uh, by cooling down a small amount and this is the ones that are more ripened but I wanted to give it a try and make marmalade with it so I cut them in four since they were ripened it didn't have much 
skin on I just wash them by scrubbing a little bit and add half cup of water and one kilogram of sugar and this is the next morning I was able to rest finally happy with the result I just heated up the jam one more time before transferring to my jars of course I kept some for the breakfast and this is the marmalade it was really much more easier to make you can also make it this way it smells and tastes delicious so it's time to taste this is special uh, famous Trabzon bread from a uh, Vakfı Kebir district we also got it freshly on our way back home just spread some butter on top and the fig jam and this is the uh, consistency of the marmalade both were delicious it is uh, easier to serve the marmalade in small portions but they taste the same I really enjoyed filming the recipe beginning from uh, picking up the figs until the end I hope you feel the same please don't forget to give your comments thumbs up and shares if you can to support me more episodes are on the way from Trabzon city as well as another recipe made from fresh figs thanks for watching I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs afiyet olsun